It is another day at Playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today we celebrate Chinese New Year. What's that? It is when we welcome in the New Year with parties and dancing and fireworks. Ooh, we, we love, love fireworks. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Where do you want these fireworks? Put them on the next hill, please, Mr. Bull. Okie dokie. Children, before we celebrate Chinese New Year, we must sweep up. Why? We must sweep out the old year before we welcome in the new year. <laughs> Finish, Madam Gazelle. Lovely. Now, we must be careful not to sweep anymore, so please hide all the brushes. <laughs> all the children are hiding their brushes. Madam Gazelle, why do we hide the brushes? So we don't sweep away the good luck that the new year brings, Pedro. Okay. When you have good luck, nice things happen. Ooh. Can I have some good luck, please? I'm ready. I'm ready. They say if you wear something red, it will bring you good luck. <laughs> Peppa and her friends pick something red to wear. I'm wearing lucky red shoes. I'm wearing a red hat. I'm wearing a red scarf. And my red dress. Ah, a red scarf and a red dress? That will make you extra lucky, Peppa. That's not fair. I want to be extra lucky too. If I am extra lucky, I will share it with you, Susie. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Now, to celebrate the new year, we will have a dragon dance with a big dragon like this. Ooh! Is it a scary dragon? No, Danny. It is a super friendly dragon. Where is it? We are going to make it. What's that? It looks like a sausage. It might look like a sausage now, but soon it will be a magnificent dragon. How do we make the sausage look like a dragon? With cardboard and paints, ribbons and your imagination. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are making a dragon. I'm giving the dragon scales like a fish. I'm giving the dragon googly eyes. <laughs> We're giving it the horns of a bull. Bull? Oh, that reminds me. Hello, Mr. Bull. Will the fireworks be ready for the dragon dance? Oh, yes. <laughs> Nearly done. The dragon is finished. Hooray! Now, who wants to carry the dragon? Me! Who wants to carry a lantern? Me! We need music too. Who wants to bang a cymbal or a drum? Me, me, me! And I have made a lion costume to lead the dragon dance. Ooh! But who's going to be the lion? Ooh! The fireworks are ready, Madame Gazelle. Mr. Bull, would you like to be a lion? It would be an honour. Hooray! The dragon dance has begun. This is fun! <laughs> the parents are here to see the dragon dance. Wow! This is amazing! Yes, but where are the fireworks? Oh, the fireworks! I almost forgot! a lovely firework display. Hang on, there's more than that. Wow! This is the best Chinese New Year ever. Peppa loves Chinese New Year. Everybody loves Chinese New Year. <laughs> Wendy Wolf's birthday. It is Wendy Wolf's birthday, and she has invited all her friends to a party. Happy birthday, Wendy! Thank you, everybody! <laughs> Mr Wolf is blowing up balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. <laughs> I love balloons. <laughs> me too! And me! And me! And me! Everybody loves balloons. <laughs> 
on, let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the balloons fall to the ground. Keep them in the air. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow some bubbles. <laughs> I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons. But they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See? I popped one. Rump, rump. <laughs> oh, we've popped all the bubbles. We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! 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 me, me. me. <laughs> OK. Hooray! Are you ready? Yes, Mrs Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the sky. Ooh. Look at that big bubble. That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ah Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? OK. First, you have to look up at the moon. And then you howl. Ah Ah Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. It's a wild animal! Ah. It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Granny Wolf. <coughs> My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat birthday cake. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my go. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw. Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Oh. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Wendy! <laughs> Bedtime story. It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie, and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. The bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <coughs> George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy. Go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. <coughs> George! Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Shh. I can tell you a bedtime story. <coughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. 
His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Grrr. Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night-time is for sleeping, not playing. Night-night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. Masks! It is the start of another day at Pepper's Playgroup. Good morning, children. Where is Madame Gazelle? Here I am. Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! We have cardboard and coloured paper, <laughs> crayons and paints, <laughs> feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, pom-poms. Can we use glitter? <laughs> no glitter. Please, Madam Gazelle. Please, Madam Gazelle. No. I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Now, begin your masks, children. <laughs> Pepper is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> and my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. Grrr. Dinosaur. 
<laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. Edmund Elephant is at Clever Clogs. <laughs> so, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things glitter, you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please. Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. Okay. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> I tricked you! It's me! <gasps> Peppa! What a surprise! But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you! <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard! Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy! It's us! Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home? Or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. <laughs> Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. The castle. Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. <laughs> a pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked to owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello, it is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here at the cannon. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? No, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! That almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room. 
where the king and queen would sit. <gasps> Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow. This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! Oh, uh, it's heading for our car. Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour. Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. Today, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. It is playtime. Play nicely, children. Moo! Here is Mr. Bull. Morning, Madam Gazelle. Sorry about the noise. What noise? That noise! We've got a big job on this hill. Uh, thank you for your patience at this time. Madam Gazelle, what is Mr. Bull building? I don't know, Peppa. Let's watch and see if we can guess. <laughs> Mr. Bull has a big drill. He's digging a big hole. He's making a swimming pool. A swimming pool! Hooray! No, that's not a swimming pool. It's a rocket! A rocket! Hooray! But it's got petals. It's a big flower. A big flower? Oh, it's a windmill. Yes, Peppa, it is a windmill. To make electricity. Edmund is right. Edmund Elephant is a bit of a clever clogs. <laughs> the windmill uses wind to make electricity. How? Well, the wind spins the top bit around and... Electricity comes out the bottom. Ah! Oh. Madame Gazelle, is electricity good? Oh, yes, Susie. We need electricity to power things like lights, television, and music. Ah! Back inside, children. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make windmills, Madame Gazelle? Yes, we will need paper and glue and some straws. Let me show you all how to make a little windmill. First, you fold a square piece of paper, like so. We make a little snip from each corner, put a blob of glue in the middle of the paper, then we fix one side of each corner to the middle. Now, all we need is a straw and a paper fastener 
to fix our paper windmill. There! A windmill! Wow! Now it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a green windmill. I'm going to make a red one. <laughs> I will make a big one. First we fold to the corners. Then a grown-up can do the snipping. Next, we put a blob of glue in the middle. Then stick it all down. Just one side of each corner, Freddy. Now we pin it to the straw. Maybe I should do the pinning, Pepper. There. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spinny windmill. Is everyone's windmill spinning? <laughs> yes. 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 yes! Mine's not. Edmund has built a big windmill. I can't blow hard enough. Maybe if we all blow together. <gasps> wow. wow! It's as big as Mr Bull's windmill. Let's go and see how he's getting on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Bull's windmill is finished. Wow! Are you making lots of electricity, Mr. Bull? Yes, and we're using the electricity for something very important. Mr. Bull is boiling a kettle. Tea break, lads! All the electricity from the windmill has made a pot of tea. Oh, lovely. That hits the spot. Mr. Bull and his friends like tea. What a wonderful windmill, Mr. Bull! And how useful it is! <laughs> windmills are brilliant! <laughs> Peppa loves windmills. Everyone loves windmills. A trip to the moon! It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is playing with her bouncy ball. <laughs> George and his friend, Edmund Elephant, are playing with their space toys. <laughs> George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Peppa's head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun. Are you going to the moon? It's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Peppa. And there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Shall we go and see it? Yay! Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Peppa, we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? <laughs> yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. <laughs> there you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> oh, does anyone know what these planets are made of? They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard, but the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But of course the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are, on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity. 
Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. Ooh. We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? With big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr. Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing on the pretend moon is fun. Say moon cheese. Moon cheese. <laughs> And that is the end of the tour. Please walk this way. Are there trees on the moon? No. Are there any cars on the moon? No. Are there any moon shops? No. That would be silly. Welcome to the moon shop. We've got moon maps, moon books. We've even got a picture of piggies on the moon with an elephant. Look, there we are, jumping on the moon. We've got moon rock, too. It's got a picture of the moon all the way through the middle. Ooh. How about some real moon cheese? How much is it, Miss Rabbit? Five pounds, please. Five pounds? It's all for a good cause. I like the moon now because it's very interesting. Hmm. And very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Adventure. Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Pig! <laughs> Hello, Pepper and George. Bye! See you later. Bye! Bye! Bye. Hello, Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Granny Pig is wearing a space suit. Why is Granny dressed as a space person? Oh, Granny is playing another little game with her friends. I'm doing an important historical reenactment. <coughs> it's about when people first landed on the moon a long time ago. Ooh. Follow me. If you ask me, it's just an excuse to have cups of tea and some cake. System checks complete, Granny. Rocket is ready for blast off. Wow! A rocket! Yes! It's Grumpy Rabbits. He's kindly lent it to us for the day. What excitement! I'll just get the rocket ready for its blast off to the moon. <laughs> Granny, are we really going to the moon? No, Peppa. It's just pretend. Ah! We are going to pretend the garden is the moon and do the things they did on the first moon landing. We will plant a flag and we will collect moon rocks. Just be careful of my rockery. Don't worry, Grandpa Pig. We will be very careful. Well, while you play your game, I think I'll make myself useful getting the tea and cakes ready. Have fun. All aboard, everyone. Ten, nine, eight, seven... Oh, well, I suppose six, these harmless little garden five, games keep Granny four, happy. Three, two, one! We have lived off! <laughs> oh, my goodness! Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has really taken off! Why does the game have to be so noisy? Grumpy Rabbit! This was just meant to be pretend! Pretend? What would be the fun in that? So, are we really going to the moon? We certainly are. It's the space adventure of a lifetime! If we're really going to the moon, I suppose our reenactment will be even better. Rampy Rabbit's rocket has landed on the moon. It's one small step for Granny Pig. And one giant leap for Grampy Rabbit! Woohoo! Come on, Pepper and George! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> the moon is very bouncy! Yes, Pepper. We can jump very high on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> These games of grannies. I hope they're not messing up my garden. <laughs> the first people to land on the moon planted a flag to show that they had been there. <laughs> Excellent, George. 
And they collected rocks. This is a pretty rock. Well done, Peppa. We can take that moon rock home with us. Did Grandpa Pig mention cups of tea for later? Yes. <gasps> I think we've earned it. Let's go home. Three, two, one, and go! The rocket is flying back home. My goodness! Granny's garden game is getting even noisier. Grandpa, Grandpa! How did the game go? We went to the moon. Super! It's true. We really did go to the moon. Of course you did, Granny Pig. And we brought you back our moon rock. Lovely. It will sit very nicely in my rockery. <laughs> I love space adventures. Everyone loves space adventures. Spring. It is springtime. Grandpa Pig has made a chocolate egg hunt. Is everybody ready? No, Grandpa. Freddy Fox isn't here. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, Freddy. Ah, hello, Mr Fox. Are you staying? I wish I could. Oh, I loved egg hunts when I was a little lad. See you later, Freddy. <laughs> now, are we ready for the egg hunt? Yes, yes Grandpa Pig. There are lots of chocolate eggs hidden in my garden. You must find them. Easy. But be careful not to step on my little plants. Oh, it's so exciting in springtime to see these baby plants starting to grow. We promise to be careful, Grandpa. Very good. Off you go, then. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's chocolate egg hunt has begun. Have you got time for a cup of tea, Grandpa Pig? Oh, yes. It will take them ages to find my eggs. I've hidden them very well. Here's an egg. Peppa has found a chocolate egg in a plant pot. Here's another egg. Rebecca Rabbit has found a chocolate egg hiding under a leafy bush. Hooray! An egg for me! Emily Elephant has found a chocolate egg in the branches of a tree. I think I can smell chocolate. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Yes! Freddy Fox has found a chocolate egg in the middle of the bird bath. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa! We found the chocolate eggs! It was really fun, but it was a bit easy. It wasn't easy for the little ones. George, Richard and Edmund haven't found any eggs. <laughs> I wonder where the other eggs are. <laughs> Chucky egg! <laughs> Ah, Edmund, I think there's something behind your ear. <laughs> Everyone has found a chocolate egg. What do we do now, Grandpa Pig? Ha <laughs> ha! You eat them, of course. <laughs> Hello, children. Granny, Granny, we found all the chocolate eggs. Well, where are they? I can't see any eggs. <laughs> They're in our tummies. And round your mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Did Grandpa hide the eggs well? No. We big ones found them easily. But the little ones needed helping. <sighs> George, Richard and Edmund don't like to be the littlest ones. Don't worry. There'll soon be even littler ones in the garden. Oh, yes. The little babies. It's so exciting. Grandpa already told us about the baby plants, Granny. But it's not that exciting. We're not talking about baby plants, Peppa. Oh, what are you talking about? Let's go and see Jemima, Vanessa, Sarah and Neville. They're chickens. Yes. And they have eggs, too. Can we eat them? No, Freddy. These eggs are about to hatch. <laughs> oh, we're just in time. The baby chicks are hatching. Oh, baby chicks! 
now the chicks have hatched, it really is springtime. Let's pretend to be baby chicks. <laughs> I'm a little chick singing cheek, cheek, cheek. I like to pick up food with my beak, beak, beak. I've a fluffy yellow head and strong on my bed. And I jump up and down, sing cheek, cheek, cheek. <laughs> I'm Granny Pig's chickens. Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa's house. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye, Mummy. Come and see where you're going to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this was Mummy Pig's room when she was a little piggy. In olden times. And this is the bed Mummy slept on. Ooh, bouncy bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like your mummy when she was little. Did mummy bounce on the bed? Of course. But mummy tells us not to bounce on the bed. When mummy was a little piggy, she was cheeky, just like you. Was she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, let's go and see Grandpa Pig in the garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. <coughs> wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <coughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> Is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. Yeah. And he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Pepper, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Pepper. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four! Four eggs, Granny! Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <coughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Yes! It's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. <laughs> <laughs> the petting farm. 
Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy, what is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule at the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, Daddy Pig! This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the farmer. Hello! Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands! That's right! <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbly. <laughs> I love bubbles. And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. <laughs> here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, please! OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> Here, Chicky Chick, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens. Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me. <laughs> So little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs. Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. <gasps> Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to wash our hands. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <laughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. <laughs> Grandpa's rock garden. Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Hello, my little ones. Look, Granny. This is my fairy princess. Oh, hello, fairy princess. Granny, where is Grandpa Pig? He's down in the garden making something. Come and see. <laughs> Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig. Hello, Pepper and George. What are you doing? 
I'm making a rock garden. What is a rock garden? It is a tiny version of a mountain landscape made of just rocks and flowers. Ooh. Nothing is here that wouldn't be on a real mountain. My fairy princess could live there. Oh, that wasn't quite the sort of thing I had in mind. There. Uh, maybe that's not. And Mr. Dinosaur could live there too. <laughs> oh, okay. The fairy and the dinosaur can live in the rock garden just for today. Hooray! Now, would you all like to help me find some more rocks? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> found one. <laughs> I've found a rock too. I say, you're a nice looking rock. Look, Grandpa, we found rocks. Very good. And look what I found. One of the most unusual rocks I've ever seen. It's all looking very pretty. What else can we add? How about a toy car for the fairy to drive? Uh, maybe not. Or a unicorn for the fairy to ride? Yes, a unicorn would be lovely. No, no, no. I've allowed the castle and the dinosaur, but from now on, just real rocks and flowers. OK, but it could do with some bigger flowers, don't you think? Those look a bit titchy. Well, uh, it's quite early in the year for big flowers. <laughs> Here is Mr Fox in his van. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you today? Well, we do need some flowers for Grandpa's rock garden. Flowers, you say? Lucky I dropped by. I've got flowers like you've never seen before. Here you go. Ooh. Lovely. Do they need any special looking after? No, they're easy to look after. They're plastic. Oh, I don't think Grandpa would like that. He wants real flowers. These are better than real. You can bury them and dig them up in a thousand years and they'll be as good as new. Amazing. And they sing. Wow. Look, Grandpa, we got you flowers. Wow, that big for this time of year. Well done. They will last forever because they are plastic. <sniffs> oh. Toy castles, dinosaurs, plastic flowers. At least the rocks are real. <sniffs> Maybe I should move this very nice rock I found to the top. Grandpa, your rock is moving. Ah! It's Tiddles. <laughs> Grandpa's rock is Tiddles the tortoise. Oh, my goodness! Tiddles! Tiddles! Here is Dr Hamster. Have you seen my Tiddles? He's run away again. Yes, Grandpa found him. There you are, you naughty little pickle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Uh, you're most welcome. Oh, what a lovely rock garden. Yes, it is rather good. And I suppose it doesn't have to be exactly like a real mountain. Grandpa, we didn't show you the best bit. <laughs> Peppa loves rock gardens. Everyone loves rock gardens. Playgroup garden. It is a lovely sunny day. Children, today we are having our lesson outside in the playgroup garden. This is the playgroup garden. All the children are growing plants. Peppa, what are you growing? A sunflower. This is my sunflower. And Penny Polar Bear, you've got a sunflower too. Yes. Oh, I wonder which sunflower is the tallest. Mine! No, mine! Mine! mine. Oh, oh, mine. <laughs> Calm down, mine. children. So, Madame Gazelle, which sunflower is tallest? Oh, uh, all of them are lovely. But which is tallest? Uh, uh, they are, uh, equally tall. Oh. oh. Rebecca Rabbit, what are you growing? Carrots! Super! Carrots! 
carrots are my favourite. <laughs> and Mandy Mouse, what is your favourite? Cheese. Oh, my goodness. You've managed to grow cheese? No, you can't grow cheese. This is from a shop. Oh, yes, of course. I have grown little tomatoes to eat with my cheese. Well done. Those tomatoes look very tasty. Mmm. <laughs> and Susie Sheep, what are you growing? A pumpkin for Halloween. Oh, I see. But it's titchy tiny. Well, Halloween is a long time away. There is time for your pumpkin to grow. But I've been watching it today and I can't see it growing. Yes, plants grow slowly. Maybe some water might help? OK. Let's all water our plants. Plants like water. Very good, children. And after all that hard work, now it is playtime. Hooray! As we are in the garden... Today's playtime will be in the wild wood. Oh, I love the wild wood. <laughs> this is the wild wood. It has two trees. Lots of wild animals live here. Ah! Butterflies, ladybirds. So sweet. Even frogs. Rabbits. <laughs> yes, the wild wood is a very special place. Let's play hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five. There are not many places to hide in a wood with two trees. Nine, ten, coming. Ready or not? I wonder where can they be? They are not here. And they are not here. Boom! Oh, here we are, Madam Gazelle. Oh, 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 what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> OK, playtime is over. Now it is back to work. Yes, Madam Gazelle. Gardening is very hard work, but also lots of fun. Madam Gazelle, my pumpkin still isn't big. Well, some people say that talking to plants helps them grow. Really? Yes. All the plants would enjoy a bit of talking to. Hello, Sunflower. I hope you are happy today. I love you, Carrots. Grow. Grow. Grow! Right. And I'm sure the plants would like it if we sang them a song. Can we do the Bing Bong song? <laughs> Why not? We water the plants and we sing them a song with a bing and a bong and a bing bong bing bong bing bong bing bong 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 bong Tree. It is summer. Pepper and George have come to the apple tree to play. My go! The apple tree has a little swing on it. <laughs> Pepper loves the swing. Swing, swing! <laughs> George wants to have a go. I will push you, George. <laughs> Look, there's a little apple in the tree. Yes, in fact, it looks like there are lots of little apples. Oh, the apples look a bit small. Maybe they're not ready yet. Please, can we try? Hmm. I suppose I could give the tree a little shake and see if one falls down. Oof! An apple has fallen on Daddy Pig. Ho, ho! Here's your apple. Thank you. Ugh, it's not very apple-y. It's a bit early for apples, Pepper. They'll taste better in the autumn. We'll come and visit the apple tree again then. Oh, goody. Apple tree, apple tree, you are friends with George and me. I can swing all day long as I sing my little song. <laughs> it is autumn. The leaves on the apple tree have turned red. <laughs> Pepper and George have come to play. Swing, swing. <laughs> 
pursue George? <laughs> <laughs> wow! The apples are really big now. Yes, I think they might be ready to eat. I'll just give the tree a little shake. Whoa! Lots of leaves have fallen on Daddy Pig. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no apples fell down. Shake it again, Daddy. Okay. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, oh. Lots of apples have fallen on Daddy Pig. Oh, oh. I had a feeling that might happen. Yummy! <laughs> These are the best apples in the world. Mm, yes, they're definitely ready now. Delicious! Thank you, Apple Tree! <laughs> apple Tree, Apple Tree, you are friends with George and me. All your leaves have turned red. Apples fall on Daddy's head. <laughs> it is winter. The apple tree is covered in snow. <laughs> Pepper and George have come to play. Hello, Tree! Have you got any apples for me? Oh, there are no apples in the winter time, Pepper. Maybe there is one left? Well, I suppose I could give the tree a little shake and see what falls down. All the snow has fallen on Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I really should know better than to shake that tree. Look, there aren't any leaves or apples. Don't worry, Pepper. The leaves will come back in the spring. Can we come back again? Of course, Pepper. Oh, goody. <laughs> apple tree, apple tree, you are friends with George and me. With no apples and no leaves, you are still a happy tree. <laughs> it is springtime. There are little flowers on the apple tree. <laughs> Wow! Look at all the flowers on the tree. Yes, that's called blossom. It's beautiful. I love this time of year. And it smells so lovely. Are there any apples in the tree today? Not today, Peppa. Um, can you shake it just a little bit, Daddy? OK. Lots of blossom has fallen on Daddy Pig. Oh, oh, well, I have to say, that's a lot nicer than apples or leaves or snow falling on me. <laughs> this is so pretty. <coughs> I love the apple tree. Me too. I think it's the best tree ever. <laughs> Pepper, Mummy, Daddy and George love the apple tree. Everyone loves the apple tree. <laughs> <laughs>